Hi, this is Dr. Cindy Banier, Democratic nominee for U.S. House of Representatives, Florida 19, and this is Perspective on Lee Pitts Live. For this episode, we're going to be talking about you. Your time is now. With midterm elections coming up, your time to participate in our democracy is now. With control of the U.S. House and Senate up for grabs, as well as the future of Florida, with the governor and state legislature, your voice, your vote matters. In this episode of Perspective, we will be talking about trends in voting in Southwest Florida and what is at stake if you sit this election out. Voting. Only 26.55% of registered voters in Lee County voted in the 2022 August primary. This means that 135,616 highly motivated and highly political people made the decision for all 510, 807 voters. Gwen Gittens, the only black woman on the Lee County School Board, lost her seat to an unexperienced extremist. She lost by only 1,565 votes. Longtime judge Archie Haywood lost his position to a much lesser experienced candidate with strong ties to autocratic police leaders. Things might have turned out differently if more people exercised their right to vote. Politicians around the country have been working to make it harder for you to vote. Many reasons people do not, there are many reasons that people do not vote. This includes being too busy, being unaware of election dates, unaware of polling locations, unaware of candidates, or simply not caring. People who think you will vote against them know this and design systems to make voting harder so you will give up. In 2020, Ron DeSantis signed the, Rep signed the Republican pushed Senate Bill 525. This made it tougher to vote by mail, limited the number of ballot drop boxes, and created a task force to investigate election fraud, which recently has targeted returning citizens. This is on top of the 2021 election suppression law that includes limiting who can deliver ballots and interacting and who can limit who can interact with voters in line. This law was struck down as unconstitutional but temporarily reinstated ahead of the midterm election. The initial ruling against this law put all of Florida back under pre-clearance in the 1964 Voting Rights Act. This means it, the violations of the law included clearly targeting the suppression of black and minority voters. It is important that you are aware of people who are trying to help you vote. Under current law in Florida, only you or a close family member are allowed to deliver your ballot. Anyone who is not a family member that offers assistance in filing, filling out, or delivering your ballot is acting illegally. This is called ballot harvesting. Please report anyone engaging in ballot harvesting or voter intimidation to the Florida Department of State Elections Division on their voter fraud hotline, one 868 3737 or to the state attorney directly 239-533-1000. What's at stake for this election? Politicians love to tell you that this is the most important election of your life. It's gotten so old that many of us simply don't care anymore. It's hard to keep up with what's going on in our town, county, state, and country. It feels like politicians are always lying to us to score political points. We have so many other priorities just to survive and take care of our families. But this election is important. People in Florida are actively trying to make it harder to vote, to keep you from exercising your right that people have died to provide you with. The laws that Ron DeSantis and Republicans pushed may very well end up at the Supreme Court. Our very rights may be stripped away from us at the highest level. We can fight by using our right to vote now before it's gone. Here's what else is at stake. Reproductive freedom. People like Jenna Persons and Byron Donalds are staunchly in favor of forced birthing without exceptions for rape, incest, or human trafficking. Their positions endanger our access to needed health care and even contraceptives. Voting for Howard Sapp and me will preserve your right to medical privacy and access to health care. Public schools. 
Republicans have be been defunding public schools for decades and our kids are suffering. Now DeSantis has launched culture wars against LGBTQ plus youth and equity and inclusion, decrying it as CRT. This is a push to hurt our schools and create more charter schools that put public dollars in private bank accounts. Byron Donald's wife, Erica Donald's, is a huge beneficiary of charter schools. We need to elect people to the school board and to the state legislature who are pro-public schools. Make sure that you're putting a vote in for Debbie Jordan and Kathy Fanny on the school board. Investments in our community. Republicans love to call themselves fiscal conservatives and compare our national budget to household budgets, which is simply untrue. Their favorite approach is to cut programs that everyday Americans rely on. Cuts that are currently being proposed by the GOP, including cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, some of the most important programs to Americans. These programs help seniors and low-income people, as well as our overall economy by keeping more women in the workforce. Byron Donald's extreme approach to fiscal conservatism, for which he is supported to the tune of millions of dollars of dark money through organizations such as Americans for Prosperity and Club for Growth, means he brought zero dollars back to Southwest Florida in the last budget. Everything for him nothing for us. Your time is now. I hope that you are inspired to vote in this election. I hope that you can see how important your voice, your vote is, and how close we are to losing it, and maybe even our whole democracy. This is what you need to do to save our democracy and our freedom. Check your voter registration at lead.vote or vote.org. Register to vote if you haven't already done so by October 11th. Check with the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, coalition FloridaRRC.com, if you've previously been incarcerated. Update your address. Update your signature so your vote doesn't get disqualified if you sign differently from when you initially registered. Make a plan to vote by November 8th. Register for vote by mail. Find your precinct on your voter ID, sample ballot, or at Lee.vote. If you can't vote in person on November 8th, mail your vote by October 29th or hand deliver it to the Lee County Supervisors of Elections Office or any of their locations by 7 p.m. on November 8th. Ballots received after 7 p.m. on November 8th are ineligible. Vote early from October 24th to November 5th daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Early voting locations include the Dr. Carrie Robinson Center, East County Regional Library, and Veterans Park Recreation Center in Lehigh. You can see all the voting locations at lee.vote for, for all those locations. And know your candidates. See candidates running for office at lee.vote. And vote for candidates whose behavior and actions match their words and who are truly committed to the people in our community. I will be voting for Val Demings, Charlie Chris, Aramis Ayala, Adam Hattersley, Howard Sapp, Char Eric Englehart, Chris Proya, Chantel Rhodes, Matt Wood, Kathy Fanny, Debbie Jordan, and of course, me. If your vote didn't matter, they wouldn't be working so hard to take it away. Your time is now. This is Dr. Cindy Banier, Democratic nominee for U.S. House of Representatives, Florida 19, and this has been Perspective on Lee Pitts Live. Now back to Lee Pitts. I'm Dr. Cindy Banier, Democratic candidate for U.S. House of Representatives, Florida Congressional District 19. I'm a teacher and small business owner. I'm fighting for the things we need. Clean water, good health, and good jobs. I'm here with you and for you. Let's create a Southwest Florida where the sun shines on everyone. Send me to Congress to work for you. Check your voter registration and vote for me, Dr. Cindy Banier. I'm Cindy Banyan and I approve this message. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production. Hello everybody, this is Lee. I'm so glad that you watched that particular show. And if you enjoyed that show, we got other shows like that. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch Lee Pitts Live on demand anytime. And also hit us up on all our social media platforms. Just type in Lee Pitts Live and there you go.